Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and Aladdin, <laughs> who's looking at a bee. And today I'm going to be doing an updated gear haul and I'm very excited about it. I've also, uh, I'm a little embarrassed because my last video, I think was a year ago in general, but my last gear haul is about a year ago and I have acquired a lot more gear than I had before. A lot of this has been gifts from friends whose dogs have outgrown their gear um, and then the rest I've bought by myself. I'm going to only be sharing like my service dog gear. Um, He's got some collars and leashes and stuff, but I'm just gonna show you guys service dog stuff. So let's go. I'm also in my pajamas, which is amazing. So the first two vests y'all have seen before. This is his was his first vest. I consider it his puppy vest. Um, it's patience and love, and I added some Velcro to the pockets a while back. I don't use it anymore, mainly because it promotes a trainer that I no longer work with long story he also being the tedious puppy that he was um completely ripped the front strap so i had to sew it back multiple times it's pretty dirty but uh i keep it for sentimental value so the other vest which i have also pretty much retired which y'all have seen is my river dog gear vest i retired it just because it got really faded because i uh he wore it every day for over two years like i said it's river dog gear beautifully made um it's got two pockets in the sides and then some patch room and stuff and then i have this pull strap i can't remember the username of the person who made it this is their instagram it's really nice if you like uh, the fleece pull straps it's really nice it's one of my favorites now getting into the gear y'all have not seen if you don't follow my instagram we're gonna start with the vest that i it's pretty much my dream gear i've wanted it for a really long time and i got it it is an Aladdin themed vest. It's from Patchwork and Paws. Shay is incredible, makes gorgeous gear. Definitely recommend it. And I will turn the camera around so you can see a better view, but it's got that on the front, uh, the side, that on the front, that on the other side. It's also got a pull strap that my friend gave me. Great quality, super thick. It's canvas, I believe. <laughs> Don't eat it. Thank you. The next vest was given to me graciously by a friend. Um, it's a maroon and yellow kind of gold vest. It's got a Velcro strip on the front and it's not reversible, but there is like black polka dots, which I think is super cool. And it's a really, it's, it's a really good like growing vest um because it can get really big and i like it a lot it's nice <gasps> i told y'all he's trying to eat the bees this next piece of gear was also given to me by a friend this has gone through like three or four dogs um, in our friend group as they've grown and none of the other dogs can fit it anymore. So Aladdin wears it now, <laughs> but it is this gorgeous bath bomb fabric vest. I believe it's from Beard and Golden, but I can't be a hundred percent. Super cute. I have always wanted a vest in this fabric. So when my friend was like, take the vest, I was like, heck yeah, let's go. It's got some really cute patches on it. I believe these were also made by Shay. Again, can't be 100% sure, but I think they were. Overall, really nice vest. It's lightweight and it does have a lot of growing room.
The next piece of gear isn't technically a service dog setup. However, I use it a lot when Aladdin and I go hiking. Um, this is a rough wear harness. I don't remember which one it is. I got it at LL Bean at uh, a mall. Um, so I didn't even get it on their website, but it goes over like this and it's got a nice, really solid D-ring. I don't use it as much as another vest that I'm going to show you. I use the other one more for hiking than this one, but it comes in handy. It's really nice. And if you like to hike with your dog, I totally recommend it. So the other vest that I use a lot for hiking is our dog vest. I haven't added weight bags to it yet. I need to because he's worn it for a lot longer than a week, which is like their recommendation to get them used to it. But I got a purple X dog vest. I got it at a expo, like a dog expo. Um, it's got a really nice D ring, really durable. When we hike, he's usually off leash. So I don't use the D ring as much. However, if I'm at like a national park where they require him to be on leash, then I put him on leash. So the next vest I got is a cape style vest that I got from the Black Friday sale last year for Patience and Love. It is a gorgeous uh, teal and gray cape style vest. It's got two pockets, gorgeous, gorgeous font and a ADA type of patch at the bottom. setup I got is also from a friend um, but this one I did pay for <laughs> a lot of them she has graciously given to me but I did pay for this one um, and it is a purple poodles setup um, this was a while ago when she made capes she does I don't think she makes capes anymore but it is a black and red Y front harness and then the cape and then this is a counterbalance handle, but I use it for a pull strap and it's really nice. I like it a lot. Next up, we got another Y front harness Doo -doo. that comes secondhand from uh, a friend. I'm, I don't know who made this harness, um, but it is a blue and white Y front harness. This was going to be Aladdin's uniform for work because I work at PetSmart, uh, but we decided that he, it wasn't the safest idea to bring him to work. So now I just use it for fun. This is the last gear setup that I have. It is a cape style vest from Patience and Love. And I got this as a birthday present from a friend <laughs> and it is uh, Patience and Love's vinyl. So it's got the embroidery on the side and it is white sparkly. I love it a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing my gear haul. If you have any questions regarding any specific pieces of gear, please don't hesitate to send me a message on Instagram. Here's my Instagram because we got to plug it again just for funsies. I hope you guys have a great day and stay safe.